thank you for joining me. I'm at Britain Mere. Well, the mere is behind me and I'm on the heath. And in front of me is the sort of areas that I usually wander around in here. The crunchy footpaths. Lots and lots of fern, lots and lots of fallen trees. They're mostly deciduous. I like this oak and it's beautifully green acorns. So this is typical of the areas that I usually walk through here. But behind is an area that's actually fenced off. And this has allowed the development of a, a different ecosystem. It's got lots and lots of heather. And obviously the associated wildlife that enjoys being amongst heather. And the trees here have been chopped down. Though there are lots of self-seeded birch and beech. But round the edge, there are actually a lot of coniferous trees. And the soil is very sandy. So it won't have many boggy bits, I don't think. But here we are, a little bit of stray heather. <laughs> so pretty, but that's blurry. Apologies if it is blurry. Ooh. And as it's in a dog free area, I shall reach across and help myself to one. Ooh, suitably juicy. But I used to, as a child, live not far from the Pennines on the east side of Manchester. And at this time of the year, I would go and pick lots of heather and also try and find Wimbury. You'd spend hours and hours and hours picking <laughs> and end up with just a few, but boy, did they taste good when you got home. I'm Rose Bay Willow Herb here. One of the first plants to colonize after a fire. Now, I can remember that from many years ago. Why do some facts just stick with us? But this heather, I wish I had a drone, it would be ever so nice to get up and above it. When I'd picked it when I was younger, I would also collect pieces of wood and I would put an arrangement with acorns and heather and any other interesting bits that I could find. I used to get great pleasure from doing things like that. Still do. But I'm behaving and I'm not picking any of this heather. Probably because I'd have to climb over the fence to do it. Right, another blackberry. Three for the price of one. Oh, yummy. 
how many of those to count as one of my five of the day? <laughs> I love the shape of this conifer in the background. Tall, straight, and off it goes. And this one here has gone ever so lopsided, but it adds a certain je ne sais quoi. To its profile. Oh gosh, mm, that one was a bit tangy. Delicious though. It's making me want to be back upon the moorland. I think the last time I was actually wandering there because I, I moved away from the area after I got married it was when I was at university and doing a geological map wandering around on the moors looking for rock out, outcrops and plotting them and then joining them up on my map I still have the map and I was looking at it last weekend I did a good job even though I say it myself how accurate it was is another matter Okay, Heather is one of those things that each individual flower is insignificant. Tiny, 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 it's a broken one here, I can lift up. Tiny flowers, but en masse, a carpet of purple. Thank you for joining me. I will continue on to them here. Bye for now. Bye.